Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Slight. Today we are going to be looking at a very unique motorcycle. Basically we ended up having one of our shuttle drivers was getting rid of their granddaughter's bike. So our perch guy decided he wanted to take it, modify it a little bit, and uh, throw an engine on it. So without further ado, uh, this is his creation. I oh, mean, this is just a kid's bike, right? He's cut a bunch of things, right? He had to move this up, he had to weld it up because this would have been further down here. This is a, a makeshift seat. <laughs> it's not comfortable at all. He's gonna end up fixing that. Uh, ended up making this little bracket for it. These things can actually work on many, many, many different bikes. I mean, I might do one myself. Ignition system, uh, tidied up the wiring for him. You know, carb, your fuel, fuel tank. It comes as a whole kit. Gear drive, all of the thing. Comes even with the exhaust. It's pretty basic. This is your throttle. I mean, you still do have that. He still has the gearing on this side. That's just for pedaling. There is an actual kit that you can get um, to actually switch it so then you actually have speeds. I don't remember what it's called. I'll ask him and I'll put it up here. As you're actually going, all you have to do is pedal it and then drop the clutch basically. Let's try it out. I did already switch the fuel on. It's like such a little kid's bike, it's great. <laughs> you do have to st start pedaling. So we're just going to pedal, 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 and drop the clutch. And there we go. And of course, no suspension. Ouch. And the thing actually does go. The only problem with this thing is there's no brakes. <laughs> <laughs> a little different than what you ended up having originally, eh? The only problem that we have is uh, we need to upgrade the brakes because there is like no brakes. He had a few issues with it there, um, but the biggest problem that he ended up having was his wiring. It wasn't very good, not proper connections and stuff like that, so we ended up doing that for him yesterday. And again, the first tank, you have to put a lot of that oil and stuff in it, right? So the mixture, right? It's like a lawnmower, basically. He was going, he was supposed to go uh, home at 12 o'clock. He was here for two hours just playing around with it. <laughs> it's actually a pretty cheap kit. I think it's like 200 bucks. So $200. It comes with everything for it. Just an Amazon kit, right? You, you can go quite a bit on that. We haven't actually ran out of fuel and we've been testing it a little bit, right? So, And the good thing about it is it's still a pedal bike. So all you have to do is push this little lever in there and then you can still pedal it without actually using the engine. And then if you want any assist, right, or the mortar, mortar um, you just have to pull this in and then just drop it and once you drop it then it's, it starts the engine up it's like almost jump starting an engine is essentially what it's doing right uh he wanted to do it because it's small enough he can have it in his car and then whenever he wants to go anywhere he can just go with that but i mean it works but yeah it's pretty nice but you have to you have to pedal it like a caveman right to get it started like oh well because we can't just drop it you gotta get it moving right <coughs> <laughs> it works! Uh, Nick ended up building it, we just helped him fix it up, so then it uh, worked. Because he couldn't get it going, but... I mean, coming to a shop, you have a bunch of techs, right? So... <laughs> if I can get my leg over top... There you go. I mean, these things are sick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably build one myself. It's supposed to be a direct kind of kit. This is like a kid's bike, so yeah, just a regular kit. You just need the spot for the engine, and then all the back end is just a gear drive. They're, they're easy enough to do. You just have to pedal, and then once you pedal it, right, you drop the clutch, and then it just starts the engine up. The first start kind of sucks a little bit because it, it starts, and then it's like a... It's because there's a high mixture of oil for the first tank. It's supposed to be heavily done with oil to kind of help break it in, but yeah. What brakes you got? <laughs> There's no brakes, man. This is this is it. Yeah, this is it. So yeah, there is no brakes. All you do is, you know, the old-fashioned brakes, right? You put your feet down. 
<laughs> so pull in the clutch, put the kill switch on, right? The little kill switch here, and then just hope that you stop. It's great. All right. Anyways. Now here's the thing. Does this beat the Grom? Wow. Am I having fun? Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> it's so tiny. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Yeah, just the first uh, the first start kind of sucks. After that, it turns pretty good. <laughs> a little bit of a willy there. <laughs> I mean, it's flying. It does actually uh, give you a pretty good bump. Ugh. No suspension sucks. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. Ow. <laughs> oh, this needs suspension. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nick! I'm doing the video, you want to talk about it? Oh, the padding just needs to slide in. I mean, you do need a better seat. <laughs> the thing sucks. It hurts the too. It does. It's fantastic. So why did you do it? Nothing better to do. <laughs> I'm throwing away an old uh, bike frame from the granddaughter and a uh, $200 kit on Amazon and decided to marry the couple of them. Yeah, and we'll put the uh, the kit in the description of the video, right? So if you're interested, you can pick it up. Yeah, so the 20-inch frames you do have to modify. What is the kit so you don't have to modify it? You have to have a 24? So yeah, 24, 26 inch. 24 to 6. Triangle shaped frames. Uh, anything with suspension probably won't work. I mean, you made a pretty sick little bike, man. That's pretty sick. Somebody that doesn't have a motorcycle, you made one. <laughs> nah. -uh. Oh, 100 percent. 100 percent. This is more sketch than most bikes I've ever been on. Oh, 100%. Don't show her this video and you're perfectly fine. I mean, the top speed is okay, but like I wasn't going all the way. The gearing that you have, like the what do they call that thing that crosses between the two? They call the jack shaft. So the jack shaft. Yeah, it comes out here. Uh, it's a second sprocket on the pedal assembly. Uh, and then you can utilize the... Uh, oh, okay. I mean, it'd be interesting. We do need to do something with the brakes. Oh, okay. Like there is no brakes at all. The problem is though, if you look at it, they're pretty much toast anyways. But I mean, if we were to switch these pads, you'd probably have a lot better brakes. But like right now, there is no brakes. It's a like it's a blast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. If you uh, like that, it's a kind of a weird video, but if you do like that, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Until next time, guys.